Boys, girls, cats, girls, what is going on? My name is Slightly Salty and welcome back to another video here on the channel. As you can see from the layout, this video is already different than a regular one that you are seeing. I haven't said that in a while and thank god some stuff is actually consistent on the channel. However, there might be something different coming on later in. But either way, you read the title, hopefully, uh, so you might know what this is. This is the Trainer Tag Challenge 2020. Yeah, Trainer Tag Challenge 2020 edition. Um, and it was made, like, a week ago. Uh, it was made by a YouTuber named Teichichu. If you don't know who she is, her links are going to be down below in the description. I'm probably going to link her video on this. She's the one that created this tag video. Because um, she's like, because she was like, why not, right? Like, and honestly, why not? With everything going on, I think right now is the perfect chance to get to know your fellow YouTubers. And to get to know the YouTubers you are watching, especially the Poketubers, because generally these don't really go outside the Poketuber community so much. Well, it's a trainer tag challenge. It's a Pokemon video. No point. I would love to see, like, other YouTubers, though, that aren't in the Poketuber community do this. Like, as if, like, like you see a COD player do this. But you understand after we see the video some more. So pretty much what the video is, is it's three questions followed up by tagging three other people to do this challenge um teji Chu started it and since it was right out of the gate um and we're not like gigantic channels right she's a lot bigger than me but still um she tagged like eight people um one of them being the person that tagged us kyogre kawaii i really hope i said that right sorry nick if i didn't you know it's kind of sad if i said that wrong since we are doing a cage lock series together uh but i was tagged by my cage lock partner partner nick um, and he was tagged by Teichi Chu, who started the challenge. So, what it is. Three, uh, questions. If you were a Pokemon trainer, what town would you be from? Who would be your partner Pokemon? And what would your team be? Those are the questions we're going to answer in this video. To try to better get at who I am. So, if you were a Pokemon trainer, what would you, um, what town would you be from? Sorry. Um, I was thinking about this for a while. I'm like, my favorite gen is Sin is Hoenn Gen 3. So should I choose something from Hoenn? Uh, it was my favorite gen. It was something as a kid. And I was thinking about it. Where would I be from? I'm like, I really like Lily Cove City. But at the same time, I'm like, eh. One of the places that was right off the bat was Alola, right? Hot, sunny. And I completely agreed with Kyoker Kuei about um, Haoli City. Because that's what he chose in his. Because um, it had shopping and everything. And I was like, that's a really good place. But I was trying to think of like what would be where I was going. And it up until like five minutes before we're recording this i was like how holy city i'm like you know what i'm just gonna go with nick but i don't know the second i read this question i there was a little voice in the back of my head that kept saying sunny shore city and honestly that's what i chose i decided to go with sunny shore city because as a kid growing up diamond and pearl were very important parts of making me um fall in love with pokemon and it has some of my favorite pokemon in the Sinnoh region and um the gym leader the electric type gym leader back then electric was my favorite typing it probably still is it's probably still number one the electric typing uh if not fairy but um then again there's only one mon there's only a couple mons in each that make me love it but either way um electric typing was honestly one of my favorite things and uh he was just such a cool gym leader um especially like it was also the first time that kind of like pokemon hinted at kind of depression it kind of seemed like the gym leader was depressed and that's why his gym was closed um so i just found it a really cool city and the city was cool because you had people like jasmine visiting and stuff and it was just a cool area so i decided you know what why not i'm gonna go with sunny shore city because of just its whole outlook also is kind of cool like the design it has bridges and stuff like above ground and i was like this would be a pretty cool place to live we got the lighthouse we got the ocean right there maybe go a little swimming in the ocean who knows so um i decided to choose sunny shore city as where i would start my journey from that would be where i was raised and stuff now if you were a pokemon trainer who would be your partner in pokemon uh i kind of gave it a little bit of a story with this one too uh well the reason why i chose it who who it is and why i chose it um my starter pokemon is going to be rock rough if you don't know my mascot on the channel is pretty much rock rough and lichen rock all of them per se um but right now in my logo is lichen rock day because lichen rock day um i love them 
Uh, Dusk is cool. Uh, for the longest time when Dusk came out, I said Dusk is cool, but I think it was just because I was on the hype train of it. But thinking about it, I was doing draft leagues at the time, just messing around with people, draft leagues offline, off screen, because uh, I wasn't even doing this. Um, everybody always drafted Dusk. And I decided to draft Day. And Day was a kill leader. He was a kill leader in the league. Uh, just because a Cell Rock, man. Like, Cell Rock is just so great. Stone Edge. And even though he wasn't as powerful, he slapped a choice band, he slapped a choice scarf. He's outspeeding a lot. So, yeah. So, um, Rock Roth and Lycan Rock Day just easily. Um, I've just always loved Rock Roth. Uh, back when it was hype. When people were thinking this might be the new Eevee on the physical side, it's going to start off as rock type, but evolve into all the all the physical variants. Uh, and I was like, ooh, ooh. Or if, if it was a rock type Eevee, whatever it was. Um, but I just fell in love with it. Every playthrough I've done is just rock rough is on it. No matter what, rock rough is on my team. I just love it. And like Rock Day, it was just nobody appreciated like rock day so i'm like you know what i'm appreciate it so be rock rough would be the starter but it would evolve into a like rock day eventually um oh and the whole thing of the story with my character is um me and my family would go to alola on a vacation where i'd meet rock rough and fall in love with it and we'd become best friends and my parents would catch him for me and bring him to Sinnoh with us when we went back home and then i'd be like the cool kid because i'd be like oh my god you have a Pokemon from the Alola region? That is so cool. Even though it would be like my pet at that time. But then when I start my journey, Rockruff would obviously be going with me. Um, question number three and the final question. If you were a Pokemon trainer, what would your team be? So obviously we got our starter. We have Rockruff. However, we're in the Sinnoh region. We're still going to get a starter from the Professor. Uh, we're obviously going to go on our first journey in the Sinnoh region. So I decided that Professor Rowan would still gift us a Mon. He would send though... He would send the Mons to the gym leader. Gym leader. I think his name is Faulkner, right? It's Faulkner, yeah. He would send the Pokemon to Faulkner, and Faulkner would come up to me and be like, slightly salty, I know you're going on your first journey. Here are the three starter Mons. Professor Rowan wanted me to gift you with one. Um, I think that's what it would be like. Or it would be, uh, this would be gifted from the Elite Four member, Flint himself, because if you don't know, Flint and Faulkner are best friends in the lore of Pokemon. So, like... Because I know Faulkner from the city, Flint would come by and Flint would give me this uh, when I'd start my journey. It would be an Infernape. Well, it would be a Chimchar. He would give me a Chimchar, maybe the baby of his Infernape. And yeah, so I would have a Chimchar. Um, I wanted a fire type starter and um, I didn't know who else to do. Blaziken used to be, as a kid, Blaziken was my favorite. But I was like, you know what? I'm not a big fan of Blaziken. Then I was thinking maybe Cinderace, but I hate Reboot. Um, maybe Incineroar, but Incineroar himself isn't my favorite. Love Torcat's design. Incineroar, kind of lackluster to me. Um, and I came down to deciding, you know what, we're in Sinnoh. Let's go with Infernape. Um, third Mon on the team. Third Mon is going to be our Water Starter. Um, it, this is my favorite starter in any game. Um, Greninja. Uh, I've loved Greninja since before all the hype. Um... Of the anime and stuff the second the game came out i'm like froki's amazing the sec well not even before that the second the designs were released i hated chespin's and uh chespin's final chestnut like i love chespin more than froki i used to at least uh but i hated chestnut i hate fenkin's final evolution whatever that thing is i forget its name i love greninja so i decided to choose greninja and then when it got battle bond in the anime i'm like what um and you know what? Our Greninja will be able to battle bond with us. We will develop a connection and we will get battle bond Greninja. I've decided it. You know what? I've decided it. Um, oh, and that's another reason why I chose Infernape because the anime made Infernape look so cool. And I still believe I'm on that hype wagon that Infernape's Blaze, when he started freaking out versus Faulkner, it wasn't Blaze. It was Infernape was trying to battle bond with Ash. But their connection hadn't hit that point yet. Um, I'm on that hype train that believes that. And if this is the first time you're hearing about that theory, I was not the one to develop it. Um, it's been it was floating around for a while. But yeah. 
For our fourth member of the team, we're in Sinnoh, and Sinnoh has one of my favorite bird Pokemon ever. Um, Corviknight is a close second, um, but if I had the right to choose Vegas Corviknights or Tor uh, Toronto Star Raptors, I would have chose Toronto Star Raptors, but that was already created when I started Draft League. So you should be able to tell that the fourth mod I'm talking about is Star Raptor. Um, like, like I just said, Toronto Star Raptors was already taken. I'm like, I want something original, so Vegas Corp Knights. Star Raptor is just beastly. Um, its abilities amazing. Um, reckless, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the one that boosts moves that have uh, recoil damage is just amazing. Um, the fact that it gets close combat as a bird, I always found so cool. Um, and yeah, it's just amazing. Cl having close combat counters so many of its weaknesses being ice and rock and starly was adorable staravia cool and staraptor um amazing uh it's the only pokemon that i think that i've looked at all three stages oh that's my phone um all three stages ago those are all all three of them are so cool well it's the first bird pokemon that i've looked at all three stages ago and all three stages are just so cool pidgeys are cool too but not as cool as starly Star staravia and staraptor um taylor swellow swellow is honestly not that great Hoot Hoot and Noctow. Yeah. Um, I hate Unpheasant, the male version. Um, and Padov is not that great either. Who else was there? Oh, Toucanon. Eh, it's not bad, not great. Um, and then there's... Uh, I feel like I'm missing a gen, but whatever. Um, oh, I'm missing Talonflame. Talonflame's cool. Talonflame is cool, I gotta give it that. Uh, but still... Staraptor is probably my favorite. Let's probably go Staraptor, Corviknight, Talonflame, Pidgeotto. Uh, that's not the question. Staraptor is on my team. For my fifth member. Mm. In Pokemon Platinum, you get gifted an Eevee. We're going to take that Eevee. We're going to get gifted it too. Um, but we're not going to be evolving it into one of the... Um, one of the six... One of the Eevee Lucians that were already here when we had Sinnoh. Uh, until we get the remakes. Um, when Sinnoh first came out, I was in love with Glaceon. I was in love with Eevee back then. Eevee was probably one of my favorite mods back then. Um, I used to draw Eevee all the time. It used to be all over my walls. Um, that's why I was so pumped about Let's Go Eevee. Um, but yeah. But then Gen 6 came out with Fairy Typing and Sylveon. I never played a lot of Gen 6, but I can tell you one thing. I loved Sylveon. To this day, I don't even think I've beaten Gen 6. Uh, but I love Sylveon. That will change eventually once I get a new computer, though. We're going to definitely do either a live series or a recorded series of Gen 6 the day I get a new computer. But yeah, I love Fairy. And Sylveon is just iconic. Tankion from the IBA and from FFAs. It's just iconic. Um, it's it's a pretty iconic member of my channel. Uh, especially with the name Tankion. Um, it was my Dynamax Pokemon in IBA. I'm like, I can't. I can't not be a Pokemon trainer and not have Sylveon. So I decided to go with Sylveon. For my sixth and final Mon, I was like, what am I going to do? I was like, you know what? I need a Dragon type. Every trainer needs a Dragon type. Um, and I'm like, what Dragon am I going to go with? Do I go for a Pseudo? Do I not? Mm, tough choices, tough choices. Uh, Salamence used to be my favorite Pseudo. Used to. We are going to go on a little trip to Galar. And we are going to visit the Lake of Outrage because there is something going on here. I don't know. But um, we're going to catch ourselves a Dreepy and evolve it into a Dragapult. And Dragapult is going to be our sixth and final member of the team. I know what you're thinking. Dragapult's so OP. Dragapult's overrated. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody's going to choose him. I love Dragapult. I'm sorry. It's not because of even the hype. It's not even because he has the same typing. Actually, that is one of the reasons. The Dragon Ghost typing, so cool. The design, so cool. He's shiny, though, is one of the things that sold me. Just the, instead of red, yellow. Look at my freaking layout. Dark blue and yellow. Two of my favorite colors. My two favorite colors are yellow and black. Don't even get started. Black's not a color, it's a shade. I know that. That's why I go with dark blue. Um, that's why I go with dark blue. Um, but yeah. So, it matches my colors. Dragon Bolt is just so cool. Dreepy, adorable. The cloak, sick and dragon bolt amazing the fact that it has two little dreepies in its ears like come on uh 
it's just awesome and i absolutely love it um and those are my six members of the team i know i don't have a grass pot type the grass type i was thinking about was decide you why decide why was is one of my favorite grass type starters if not the grass type starter but i had dragapult and i didn't know who i wanted to get rid of i actually got rid of dragapult for infernape because i really wanted a fire type on the squad um the only other person i probably would have gotten rid of is either star after sylveon um just to get another starter on the team but i love Staraptor too much and sylveon's just too cool um but yeah that's my team uh like and rock infernape the ninja Staraptor, sylveon those are the six that are going to be on my team if i was a pokemon trainer i'm gonna tag three people now one of the people i already told them tagging is blazing torchic already told them i was tagging them i was gonna tag them and yeah he told me it definitely should be blaziken on my team but i was like nah um Blazing Torchic, I do a Versus series with him. If you've never seen it, definitely go watch that. Next person I'm going to tag is W3S7. I do a Versus, I do a, sorry, not a Versus. I do a Soul Link series with him. Uh, he's my Soul Link partner and the first person I ever collaborated with on this channel. Actually, the first person I ever collaborated with. Uh, so I'm definitely going to tag him as well. And for a third person, who else would I like to tag? Um... Kyogre already tagged him. I was about to say the Shaden Pass, but Kyogre already tagged him. I'm trying to think outside of the regular people that I would tag. Actually, I don't think I tagged him last time. I'm going to tag Streamy. I'm going to tag Streamy. I don't know if I tagged him last time. Streamy TV or Strem, whatever he goes by. I forget what he goes by. I always call him Streamy, and he never corrects me. So, I'm going to tag Streamy. Uh, those are the three I am going to tag. Uh, there's so many other guys I would love to tag, but I know... The three that I'm tagging are also going to tag the ones I'm thinking of. Um, maybe not so much Blazing Torchic, but West and Streamy will definitely be tagging the people that I'm probably tagging. Um, that I'm thinking about tagging. I also wanted to make sure I don't tag the same people that JV is going to tag. Because Kyoker tagged me and JV. And in case you guys didn't know, in the um, last tag video that we did, JV got his up literally an hour after I recorded mine. And I had tagged, like, the exact same people. I think there was one person that was different. So, I literally re-recorded that ending and <laughs> tagged three different people. Uh, well, I, one of them I kept, but yeah. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do. We are at 75 subscribers, and I want to hit 100 by the end of May. That is the challenge right now. That i'm going for um but yeah i know kyogre is doing a similar thing he's trying to hit um uh, 300 i think by may i don't know if that's the end of may or beginning of may but i'm trying to hit 100 by the end of may uh so may 31st january february march april may yeah may 31st um if you i don't know if my thing could get it but i went like that <laughs> um but yeah, so definitely please subscribe to the channel. I'm grinding out content right now. I have three collaborative series going on, plus solo videos behind the scenes, plus IBA. Man, what am I doing to myself? Plus I work full-time currently, and I'm in school. Um, that's going to be for this one, guys. <laughs> Hope you guys did enjoy um, this video, this tag video. Um, like I said, thank you for Techichu for starting the tag. Thank you for Nick for tagging me, and thank you, no, and, not thank you, um, and now, West, Streamy, Blazing Torchic, get on it, it's your turn to do this tag, that's gonna be it for this one, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you in the next one, stay salty, I messed that up. <laughs>